So every class within Diablo 4 has those uniques for said class. In Diablo 4 we've also learned now that there are increased chances from certain enemy types on these uniques for that specific class. Today guys we check them out for the rogue, what uniques they have, the enemies which have increased chances for them items to drop and in my opinion the best dungeons you should be farming for these specific pieces. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So when it comes to farming specific places or dungeons for these uniques to drop, any dungeon is fine, but if you can roll nightmare dungeons with that magic fine modifier on, this definitely ups your chances due to this modifier dropping more loot in that specific dungeon for you. Also guys, if you're looking for specific uniques but not for the rogue, then all character classes and their unique videos will be linked down below. Also guys, it's important to remember as well, amulets, uh, rings, jewellery, at the moment doesn't have any increased drop chances from any specific enemy type. This means that the word of Hakan does not currently have increased drop chances from any specific monster type in Diablo 4. Okay, so let's get into it guys. And firstly guys, we have the Ashira's Kanjar. This has increased drop chances from bandits and cultists. So bandit dungeons, we have Moorwood, Alder's Cave, Wrathwind Wild and the Morgan Works. These are all great, great dungeons, but if I had to pick one, I'd definitely try and get the Alder's Cave here. Cultist dungeons, we have Conclave, Serpent's Lair and the Shadow Plunge. Again, three great, great dungeons. Next up people we have the Condemnation, this has increased drop chances from bandits and cultists. Ok so those bandit dungeons with increased chances, we have Maud, Alder's Cave, the Wraith Wind Wilds and the Mugen's Works. Cultist dungeons we have Conclave, Serpent's Lair and the Shadow Plunge. Again guys, some great great dungeons there with plenty of those enemy types. Next up people we have the Cowl of the Nameless. This has increased drop chances from cannibals and cultists. Ok so those cannibal dungeons you have the Guran slums, the earthen wound and the carnal house. Cultist dungeons I recommend we have conclave, serpent's lair and a shadowed plunge. Next up guys we have the eyes in the dark unique. This has increased drop chances from drowned enemy types. Ok so you want to be farming here the haunted refuge, the dead man's dredge, the putrid aquifer and the vault of the forsaken. Four great great dungeons there, all have plenty of that drowned enemy type in them. Next up guys we have the grasp of the shadow. This has increased drop chances from spider enemies. Spider dungeons we have the blind burrows, the guru canals, the whispering pines and the champion's demise. All absolutely four incredible dungeons there. If I've had to pick one, it'd definitely be Blind Burrows. But do what you gotta do, guys. Any one of these, if you get a nightmare version of, perfect for you. Next up, guys, we have the Sky Hunter. This has increased drop chances from ghosts and vampires. So, ghost dungeons, we have the Earthen Wounds, Onyx Horde, Sunken Ruins, and the Lost Archives. Vampire dungeons, we have Zenith, Core Dragon Barracks, and the Heathen's Keep. Again, great, great dungeons there, so do what you gotta do, people. And lastly today, guys, for the uniques on the Rogue, we have the Wind Force. This has increased drop chances from, again, ghosts and vampires. So ghost dungeons, yet again, earthen wounds, onyx hold, sunken ruins, and the lost archives. Vampire dungeons, a zenith, core dragon barracks, and a heathen's keep. Again, some great, great dungeons there, which would definitely increase your chances of getting this Wind Force to drop. But there we have it guys for the uniques and a rogue character class within Diablo 4. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.